Hey everyone, it's Harry, and I'm here to show you my latest update with the Aircrete. So, my last experiment, I used this Bond and Fortifier in my soap solution to make some Aircrete. And the Aircrete does feel stronger. Well, not only did I use that binder, but I also changed the PSI for the air pressure. And I went from 65 PSI to 100 PSI. Uh, and the idea was to have smaller soap bubbles. Um, so, this is the Aircrete. You can see, this is the last one that I tested. The hose looks smaller. The bubbles are definitely smaller. It's still brittle, but it's uh, I can feel it stronger I mean I'm putting a lot of pressure on it to break it but it's still I'm still getting brittleness and um, this here was regular cement that I mixed so this is as you can expect it's not only really heavy and solid but you know there's no thermal insulation because you have no air pockets and um, this was the same cement that I just shoveled and folded the foam into the cement and it did make this a little lighter and it also made this more brittle as well like I could never do that with this 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 is solid this is not breaking at all and this is the same 5,000 psi cement and by folding the uh, foam solution it um, did make it lighter but it feels you can see it's it's uh, it made it brittle as well and this has the same uh, sand and arrogate uh, arrogates that you can see in here all the little rocks and and things so that's how that came out regular cement with sand and rock and the same as this but with foam folded in now this was the last uh, Portland cement soap solution I made they look great but they're still too brittle here's, uh, here's a piece you can see it. I can just break it. Anyway, so that's uh, that's how it came out. This was the solid piece that I poured into there, into that little dome mold that I made, and I was just testing it out by hitting it with a sledgehammer. To see what would it take to break, if anything. And, um, I mean, honestly, even regular concrete would break. And this has only really been a few days of curing. Not the recommended 30 days. Uh, but this one does feel better. This is the one 100 PSI with that, uh cement concrete fortifier and you can see how it looks damp here it's because it was raining this was the side up that the rain was touching hitting so you can see the moisture going through there this one does feel stronger but it's still brittle i mean a piece this size if this were just regular cement uh wouldn't have broken that easy i, I was only swinging it with just the weight of this uh, sledgehammer and this was my uh, this was supposed to be a dome the dome wall that I was trying to make I wanted to get a dome shape and uh, it's brittle as well but it does feel stronger. It's it takes more effort for me to break it, even though it's, it looks like it's really easy. I can feel it 
it's stronger than the other batches that I've done. Like this would have broken much more easier. So there is some improvement there. So anyway, one of the other things I'm doing, I was thinking of is, this is the thickness that I would like to have my walls in my dome. And um, because of the insulation uh, factor that I'd be getting. So what I'm thinking now at this point, if I were to use this aircrete the way it is and its brittleness, and, and this piece has been here I think at least two weeks now, uh, about two weeks, it's still brittle, but the idea I have is if I were to put a mesh coating, I put a mesh against this cement, against the aircrete, and I do a quarter inch thick of Portland cement mix over that. That would really give it the strength uh, that it would need. And it would keep it from falling apart, being brittle. So my idea is if this were, uh, if this had basalt fiber chop in it, maybe even basalt mesh or some kind of mesh inside or even rebar. And then the out, outer and inner coating had a mesh on it with about a quarter inch thick uh, coating of cement that would, I believe, make it really strong. Just having that solid cement, a quarter inch thick on here on both sides so that the brittleness, uh, so that the brittleness wasn't a factor. So basically, the aircrete would be in between two layers of concrete, be sandwiched between uh, a quarter inch thick cement on either side uh, over the entire dome. So anyway, that's, that's the only thing I'm thinking right now as far as how I could and would feel safe building a structure uh, with this aircrete until... I can do some other test or or somehow get it so it's not so brittle uh, I'd feel much better yeah that barely took any effort there and you can see the bubbles the hose sizes so anyway that's my latest update again that last batch there was using this concrete bonder and fortifier I didn't try this one for all I know they're the same thing just different names who knows but I will try that one uh, next and uh, anyway that's my latest update and I'll catch you guys later